Hi, in this video, I will show you how to draw a spiral structure in Comsomote physics. Basically, we will learn how to create something like this. Also, I will teach you how to assign colors to different domain and boundaries in Comsol so that you can make beautiful pictures of your model. All right, so first I give you a little bit of background. Why do I want to make this video? For a master thesis project, we want to make a high voltage DC power supply using wireless power transfer. And we decided to make the primary coil a pancake coil. In order to create this pancake coil, we thought to create such a structure and then put the Litz wire inside this structure. So the master student, Mr. Suroj, these are the hands of Suroj, has created this structure in a 3D software and then we printed it. But then after that, I decided that, okay, I will teach everybody to make such 3D structure directly in Comsol. So that if you don't have any other 3D software, still you can make uh, this type of uh, geometry. Okay, so this is the background. In order to create this, first we need to be able to create a spiral. So I will first tell you how to create different type of a spiral. Okay, so here I have two web pages. I put the link of these pages uh, in the description. Basically, they explain how different type of spirals work and what are the equations of them. And you can use these equations to create a spiral in Comsol. I summarize the information in those web pages in these slides. The very famous spiral is called Archimedean spiral. And the equation of the spiral is A plus B times theta. So theta is the angle. It can start from any number to another number. So this is the R. So for example, like this. If we multiply R to the cosine theta, we will get X. And if we multiply R to the sine theta, we will get Y. So in case you want to make this spiral, basically you should draw X versus Y with this equation. Now, if theta starts from zero, if theta zero is zero, then at the initial point, this is zero. So R will be A. That means the spiral will start from the point A. Assume that this theta is with radian. So after two pi, basically this spiral will move and have one third. So if you put this one from zero to two pi, then we can create something like this. If I put the theta one, 4 pi, then it will rotate 2 thirds. And if you put n multiply 2 pi, then it will rotate n thirds. This type of Archimedean spiral has a fixed distance between the section. And this distance is equal to 2 pi times b. So by selecting a and b, basically you can decide uh, where to start the spiral and what should be the distance between the two sections. Now, for example, if you select theta 0, another number, in this case pi over 6, and theta 1 is 6 pi plus theta 0, that means we will have three full turns, and a start is from uh, 30 degree, basically, pi over 6, and end will be also at pi over 6. If you want to make the end a little bit stretched, then you can add another phase to that. This is basically how you can make a normal, uh, simple Archimedean spiral. We also have a general purpose Archimedean spiral. In that case, the equation is the same, a plus b multiply theta, but this theta is raised to a power of 1 over c. Depending on the value of c, you can get different type of spiral. So for example, if c is larger than 1, then this power will be less than 1, and that means the distance between the sections will gradually decrease. So at theta equal to 0, it starts from somewhere here, and then it expands, but gradually the distance decreases. If c is larger than 0 but less than 1, this means the total power will be more than 1, and so the distance between the section increases as the theta increases. These are two examples. This one, it calls also, it has a name, it's Fermat's spiral, when c is equal to 2. If c is a negative number, then actually the spiral starts from uh, far away, from infinity, and comes and it basically a spiral close to the origin point. So for example, in this case, C is minus one. Uh, in such situation, this is hyperbolic spiral. It starts from uh, this asymptotic value, which is equal to B. Now for this scenario, B is one. 
So it starts from this and then gradually as theta increases, it comes and rotates here. And this one, if C is minus two, it has a name also, it's litters. So it starts from asymptote is to zero and it comes and a spiral um, close to the origin point. So this is basically a different type of a spiral if you want to create. Now we use this information, actually we are going to use this information to draw a parametric curve in COMSOL and create this type of a structure in COMSOL. All right, so let us make the structure. We open COMSOL, model wizard, 3D model. Because I only want to draw geometry, I don't need to use physics, so I just click done. Dimension, let us use millimeter. So in the geometry, right click, create a work plane. And plane geometry, right click, select the parametric curve. Let's say we want to start from uh, phase zero and we want to go to uh, 12 turns. So that would be 2 pi multiply 12. Let's say we want to start from origin point. X should be 20 millimeter plus, and I want the gap between the two sections to be 2 pi. So B should be 1 multiply S. So this is the R, and I have to also multiply it to cosine S. And for Y, we have to multiply it to sine S. Okay, let's see what does this produce. Yes. Here we produce the spiral, which starts from point 20, and it has 12 turns, and the gap between the sections is 2 pi multiply b, b is 1, so it's 2 pi, it's around 6.28 millimeter. Okay, so now we have the spiral. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a, another structure, a rectangle, and then sweep this rectangle over this spiral. Right click on the geometry, create another work plane. I want to make a rectangle that is perpendicular to this, and then I will sweep that rectangle over this curve. So I should change the work plane. This one right now is X and Y, but I want X and Z. So I select XZ work plane. So in this work plane, I want to create a rectangle. Okay, where do I want to create? I put it on the origin point that I selected. So this is starting at 20. So let's say the width of that uh, rectangle is 1 and height is 4 millimeter. So the X position should be 19.5 because this is 20. So I want to be symmetric half a millimeter before and it goes half a millimeter after that. So we created this rectangle. Okay, so right click on geometry and click on sweep. So now I have this rectangle and I can sweep it over this curve, click build. So then that structure is constructed. I can add the base, a cylinder, let's say radius is 100, height is two millimeter, and I want to start it from right below this structure. Okay, so that one gives us the, the base cylinder. And then if you click on union and build, then you can see that the roughness will go away and you have a very nice and beautiful spiral structure on top of a disk. Okay, so we have learned already how to create a spiral structure. Now we'll show you how to assign colors. So you come to definition, right click on definition, select selection, explicit. Let's say I want to color this domain as yellow. So here in color, you select yellow. And then let's say I want to color the other one black. So explicit. And then I select this one. Here you can select black. So now we have a yellow spiral on top of a black disk. You could also select boundaries here. So if you would select boundaries or edges, you could also assign uh, different colors. So if I would select boundary, I think for edges, we don't have color. Only for boundary and domain. You can assign different colors. Okay. So this is basically how you can make a spiral and assign different colors to domains and boundaries inside console. See you next time. Bye.